So we'll start. Uh, so we were in the third lecture on CNNs. Uh, where we are looking at different visualization tools for understanding what your convolutional neural network is learning. And we did a bunch of things and now we'll move on to the next module where we'll talk about something known as Deep Dream, uh, very interestingly titled, but I'm sure most of you have already seen this or read about this. Uh, so here's the idea, right? So, so far we were seeing that if we start from a blank image, then we could suitably modify it by constructing an optimization problem whose parameters are the pixels of the image and we can modify the image so that it starts looking like a certain class of interest, right? But now suppose instead of starting with a blank image, I start with a natural image, right? Say a sky or any image that you have in your data set, okay? I start with this and then I focus on neurons in some layer of the convolutional neural network. So I'm focusing on these neurons. Say any one of these neurons I'm focusing on. And I want to change the image so that these neurons, so when I say neurons, I actually mean only a single neuron, but for illustration, I'll show multiple neurons. So I want to change the image so that this neuron fires even more, okay? So how would we achieve this? What will we do? So say this is the neuron which I want to fire even more. Okay, so what's my optimization problem? First of all, what are the parameters of the optimization problem? The pixels of the image, okay, that's clear. Now I want this to fire even more. So what's the objective function? What do I want to maximize? Let's call this neuron as H I G. What do you want to maximize? Sorry? No, I want this neuron to fire more. Maximize H I G, right? I mean, that's, I mean, why is so, that so difficult, okay? But of course, we'll do something so that it's a neat differentiable thing and so on. So you want to maximize the activation of one such neuron, H I J. So we could just formulate the following optimization problem that I want to maximize Hij square, okay? And of course, the parameters of the optimization are the image pixels. And if I consider one such pixel in the image, then I essentially need to compute this gradient, uh, the gradient of the loss function, which is Hij square with respect to this image pixel. And I can do it in these two parts, the derivative of the loss function with respect to Hij and the derivative of the Hij with respect to the image pixel. This we have seen a million times while doing back propagation. Of course, we have not gone all the way back to IMN, but we saw last time that it's just one more term in the chain rule. And this again looks straightforward, right? The derivative of the loss function with respect to HIJ looks straightforward. So I have a very simple way of computing the derivative of the loss function with respect to any pixel of the image. So now I can apply gradient descent and I can update the image. So I started and now remember that the, my original IMN was not blank or random or zero or anything it's actually this sky image. So maybe it was blue or cloudy or whatever pixel that I have in my original image and that pixel I am changing, okay? So I have started with the sky image. I have changed it a bit based on this gradient update rule, gradient descent update rule. And now I feed it back to the network. What will happen? What will happen to HIJ? It will fire a bit more because that is exactly how you have changed the image with exactly that objective function, right? And now if I keep doing this, what will happen? So remember, what does HIJ actually capture? Now this is where, so if you understand this, right, you will really understand and appreciate everything about convolutional neural networks and I'll be sure that you have actually understood the details and not just these boxed architectures, right? So what, if this happens, right, then what does actually HIJ capture? It captures certain patterns in the image, right? Now, if, if HIJ is firing, that means these patterns have started appearing in the image. We started with a sky image and now HIJ is firing more and more. That means 
it is now the image is suddenly becoming more and more or containing more and more patterns for which HIJ should fire. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So let us run this algorithm. We'll start with this image, and we'll run this algorithm. Okay. Uh, so I'll run it. Before that, I want some guesses. What kind of patterns do you think will start appearing here? And this is Deep Dream is the title, right? So, okay, fine. So let's see. So I'll run this algorithm. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with this image and running exactly what I showed you that I will compute the gradient with respect to one of the neurons and I'll keep updating the image so that it becomes more and more like the patterns that I'm trying to capture. Okay, so let's run this and observe carefully. Okay, it's almost a magic trick. I hope this does not disappoint. What do you see? Most of them are what? They are dreaming, so they are literally building castles in the air, right? So what is happening? Why is this happening? Everyone sees castles, right? That's the first thing. Otherwise, <laughs> okay, good. Why is this happening? Have you seen the Disney logo, the castle? What does it have in back the background? How many of you find this interesting? How many of you think this is okay, expected? So, okay, why is this happening? Think about training data, think about what would have happened. Oh, you missed the magic show. So what is the convolutional neural network actually trying to do? I will give you a hint. It is being over enthusiastic. How many of you get that? Okay. So here is what is happening, right? Uh, should I explain it or? No, I am not going to ask you a quiz question. I am just saying that I have some more uh, images to show. Okay, I will explain it first. Uh, so this is what is happening, right? So in the training data, Whenever a castle appears, it typically has a sky as the background. Okay. So now the convolutional neural network has started drawing these correlations. So whenever it sees a sky, it is trying to find a castle somewhere. Right? Because it knows that most of the times whenever I see a sky, there is a castle in the foreground. So those neurons are firing a bit. And now you are trying to fire them even more and more. So they keep trying to change the image till this castle actually appears on the image. How do you, how many of you get this explanation? Please raise your hands. Okay. So let's see uh, some more examples, right? So now guess what will happen here? Ships, okay. Again, a generation which thinks of uh, ships is okay. I shouldn't comment on that. Fishes, in, okay. Birds, what else? But there are also mountains, eyes, okay. Interesting. You now your expectations are increasing. Okay, let me just run this and see what happens. Oops. Oh no. Uh, that was my final trick. Okay. Uh, the prestige is gone. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what do you see here? So actually, if you go back and look at it carefully, right? Uh, this is very interesting. A lot of fish eyes actually start appearing here, and some shapes like fishes actually start appearing here. Go back and look at it carefully. And all on the mountains and the green regions, a lot of birds and animals start appearing, right? Which is again expected because in your data set, you would have seen birds and animals with a green or a this kind of a background, right? Whatever we call it, a mix of green and brown background, right? So now it's trying to find those things, even though they don't exist. And as you try to force it more and more, it starts creating those images as you start asking to dream more and more, right? And since this is about dreams, I couldn't let this go, it has to have inception in that. So, so what will happen here now? There's actually nothing interesting here, just for my own sake that I have put this. Unfortunately, nothing interesting happened with this. Oh wow. <laughs> if only. <laughs> but that's the point, right? This is so data set specific that it can't really generalize. It can't dream beyond the data set. And actually, nothing interesting happens. It's just that a lot of these men are wearing brown suits. And in the data set, unfortunately, all brown things were dogs. <laughs> so this is what will happen. You will start seeing dogs appear everywhere. You see one here. You see many here, actually. It's like a few more and this would have turned into something unpleasant, right? So that's what is happening. You actually see a lot of dogs here, here, like in many places. Okay, so this is uh, okay. It's still running. Okay, so what exactly is happening here? The same thing that I had detected, right? 
The network has been trained to detect certain patterns, dogs, cats, birds, etc., which appear frequently in the ImageNet data and with these backgrounds that I am trying to do or with these textures that I have in my images. It starts seeing these patterns even when they hardly exist. And now as I start focusing on these neurons which are firing and try to modify the image to make them fire even more, it will start producing these pixels or these images in the uh, original image. Right? So you can read this uh, explanation which is from the Google blog on this. Uh, uh, they have some release some code and something on this. So you can just read this explanation. If a cloud looks a little bit like a bird, the network will make it look more like a bird. This in turn will make the network recognize the bird even more strongly on the next pass and so forth until out of nowhere a bird actually starts appearing in the image right so that's exactly what is happening okay so this is deep dream